to the Ross Patterson Revolution. Brought to you by GhostBed.com. I'm ready to put my balls on the line. I want some skin in the game. I want some skin on the line. I want some skin in your face. I want some skin on the swine. Oh, God. Right what? in the swine. Dude, I'm going. I'm riffing. Come on. No. Come on. We're not, I I'm want not some putting skin. my scrotum on. on a pig. <laughs> Come on. I'm you just wanna, going with it. You want to put my scrot on a pig? I'm trying to catch a vibe, dude. <laughs> yeah. Oh, sorry, bro. <laughs> sorry, bro. I was unaware you were up late last night's. On Instagram to DJ, was it DJ Cool? DJ Cool. He took, oh no, he took Monday off. Sorry. So yeah, oh, he, he did. was, okay. he was ro- rocking and rolling last he night. He took yeah. Monday off. For because, what? Because he was going just for hours at a time. Okay. Yeah, you got to take Which, a- Which again, it's like, I wonder why it didn't work out for you, DJ <sighs> Cool. Because after two days of DJing. You're exhausted. When your numbers are up and people are like needing you. You're exhausted. Uh-huh. We take a break. Yeah. Yeah, DJ Cool. I see exactly why. The, the world didn't it take didn't a break. It didn't work out for you. The world didn't take a break, DJ Cool. Exactly. Had he kept it going. Yeah. It would have been like legend. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? People if- were like so impressed with like he was just going 12 hours mm-hmm. not eating not sleeping not, you know what i mean if he would have gone a full 72 hours right all methed up oh. and just rocked it he might have had 80 million instagram followers yeah i mean he, he definitely ga- he gained a lot but i think he will lose them just like he lost everything else I in his don't life no let me <laughs> what, do you know his personal life i'm gonna look know. him up on uh but he is a you seem been, real familiar with him What's He's that? a has been, right? I don't know. It didn't work out for him, basically. DJ Cool. I'm gonna look him up right now. Okay. There's gonna be a couple. Oh, so you need to boy. find the right one. Are any one. of these verified? No. They're not. So DJ DJ Cool, he looks like Alec, look up uh, DJ Cool on Instagram. Try to find him on Instagram. Let find me, how many millions let he me has. Clear my throat. That what? one? What? 60. Yeah. Oh, he he's let me clear my throat? Yeah. Greatest song of all time. Right? He's not a watch. He's not a has been. Fuck you, Jabes. <laughs> Fuck you for not that a statement, dude. Look. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Let me clear my throat. It's gotta be. It's gotta be him. How many followers does he have, Alec? Almost eighty one thousand. Eighty one thousand? Is this is this the same person? Is it the same person? Is it this I no, I I know who now that you say I understand that, but he is he the one going live on these DJ sessions for 12 hours? I doubt it's him. It can't be him. No, it's got to be somebody else. It's got to be someone else. Find the DJ, Alec. Google Google the DJ, it's the Instagram like DJ. It's DJ Cool, but whatever. It's, an, it's a DJ that... Google it, Alec. Has DJ been going, Instagram. It's pretty easy. DJ Instagram story. He's been That's going it. for... Like I said, he took Monday off. Like 50 fucking hours or something like that. But he's doing like clubs. He's doing God's work. He's doing like stay inside social distancing yeah. clubs yeah, from is. Instagram or YouTube or something. Mm-hmm. Um, He went from... DJ Nice. DJ Nice. Maybe that's it. There yes, you go. Yes. Yes. yes so it wasn't yes. cool. It was nice. Whatever, man. It's four letters. Both are four letters. It's like you and so, me. If it was DJ Cool, that would have been another whole another story. If he's sixty two years old and and rocking and rolling like then, that, then no, he shouldn't have been doing that. So good. I'm glad to know that one DJ Cool is still alive. Two that he actually sang that song because I didn't know the guy's <laughs> fucking name. Three that he's in his sixties and he's still alive um, from all of this. You know, and because four. according to everyone else, you're gonna die tomorrow. And uh, yeah, I'm not having it. Yeah. So DJ Nice is forty. Huh? D nice. Oh, Sorry. we were corrected. D nice. Sorry about that. How many? How many followers does he have? Um, above a hundred thousand. Above a hundred thousand. Yeah, he jumps he massively. Jumped. Yeah. Uh, he's fifty, forty-nine. Sorry. DJ Nice is forty-nine years old. D nice. Oh, D nice. I'm sorry. I apologize. My name is D nice. D nice. D nice. Taking all the suckers, and you don't um, know how I did it. Is that the same D nice? Was he once famous? Yeah. Oh, That's what I'm saying. Shit. 
husband. Like I know who D nice is. Okay. So here's the deal. You can't really say has been because you don't have that big of a lifespan in that. Like besides Jay Z and those guys, like Jay Z is the only one to have a, a rap career that's been consistent past mm-hmm. forty years old. So I'm not gonna put that on DJ Nice at all. The everybody else who was smart got into acting and, and just said fuck it and cashed in. Ice T. Right. Ice T made more money. He's still on what is it, Law and Order? Yeah. S- SVU he or He is at this point he is SVU. I Yo, this Special. is Ice T. Special crime. Yeah. Freeze. You under rest. Right. Like he doesn't pronounce the T in rest. He also does like a natural uh granola bar cr- commercial something. He like does. That. Yeah, I heard he owns part of that company. I had it. I ate it one time. You um, hated it, I'm sure. It wasn't bad. It was probably one of the um, best in that in that space. To oh, be honest okay. with you, it was, it was like it had no brand on it. Um, mm. But uh, yeah, he did that commercial, and um, and then he had that reality show with his wife for a while on E. Coco. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I remember. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, so like if you she look at the sm- if you look at the gal. smart ones, right? Mm-hmm. Ice T got into acting. Sure. Started with New Jack City, one of my faves of all time. Sure. One of my favorite fucking movies ever. Mm. I love New Jack City. Okay. Um, and then it moved to Ice Cube. Okay. Boys in the Hood, and then obviously Friday and everything else that he's mm-hmm. done. Mm-hmm. Um, LL Cool J. LL Cool J's been oh, in smart. shit, man. Any given Sunday, and then what, he, that, that show NCIS or whatever on Sunday yes, nights. Yes. LA something. I know yes. he's like a SWAT team member or whatever the fuck it is, right? That's been going on forever. And then he hosts like the Grammys and shit. Like, I, I just don't think you can rap past 40 and people still believe you that you're out in the streets selling cocaine anymore. Yeah, that's true. You know what I'm saying? You got kids. That's true. It's not like you're taking your kids out selling coke. Um, it's a young, it's a young man's game, and uh, the ones who have been able to push past it, like a Kanye or like a Jay Z, those are very few and far between at this point. Yeah. Um, Pusha T is getting near forty, but he also got started super late because of uh, well, I, he just wasn't that famous, and so mm-hmm. Kanye helped him out. But he's great. So shit, man. I mean, there is there's a, f- a few, but um, you know, it's hard. You got to get out of the fucking rap game. So D, I'm not gonna. No, we're not. I'm not gonna shit on. We're not. D nice, dude. We're not gonna shit on D nice. He's actually uniting people during the pandemic. Yeah. And um, is and, using it for personal gain. And, and he's, so, ta- he's taking I, out the suckers, and mm-hmm. we don't know how he did it. Yeah. And so he's uh, he's gained followers. Yeah. Um, he's gained the hearts and minds of people too. You know, he's doing interviews on Daily Show, what have you? Yeah, and um, and good for him. Good you for know him. What I mean, look, I, I uh, and I'm, I, man, I really hope this is the same D nice, and it's not someone else either, or else I just give him so much fucking cred. No, it's him. What it do you is mean? Good. Of like, oh yeah, it is of him. What? Shit, I'm looking yeah, at his yeah. pictures. There we go. Yes. Um, yeah, dude, he was fucking rad. I, I tell you what, dude, at the end of this episode, Jamie. We're going to throw Call Me D-Nice at the end of this. This is from 1990. This was a banger back in the day. Um, sure. This still hits hard. I guarantee it. I haven't heard it in fucking 20 years. But I, I guarantee you this still hits hard. We'll put it at the end of this on the audio episode. Mm-hmm. My name is D-Nice. Um, fuck yeah, dude. I'm now, now I'm amped about the Now day. you're amped. Yeah. You're amped about the couch parties. Yeah. I, I, now I am. Shit. Yeah. I understand. He's he's an Apparently older gentleman. He, he needs to relax. The, he keeps the parties going. He needs you to relax I mean? a little bit. Yeah. yeah I, that was a know. lot of work. A lot of work. I'm going to give him a follow now. That's dope. Yeah. Uh, maybe you, we you should know, go to one of his parties. Yeah, why not? From our house. That's what I'm saying. That's what he's doing. Yeah, no. That's so we'll, we'll go, go, to go from our of, house. Yeah, yeah, we'll go to the party tonight. You down? Yeah, I'm obviously down. What time does it start? Five? Nope. 5.30? Maybe six. What time did you go to sleep last night? Maybe a hard six. I had a sleepover with our child last night. What time did you go to bed last night? <laughs> Don't be creepy, but anyway. Yeah, oh, that, that does sound creepy. It does a little Shit, bit. Shit, I actually texted Alec last night, too. He asked me, he's like, hey, man, can I give you a quick call? And I was like, actually, I'm having a sleepover with my kid. I did not think anything creepy about that whatsoever. Now no. that you've said it, now I now feel like look, Michael listen. Jackson. No, no, no. Now, we Oof. we have a five-year-old. By the way, people's 10 and 11-year-olds come into the bed sometimes, which we will not allow. <laughs> so what we don't do, like people are like, oh, they just come in in the middle of the night and then they sleep in between us. Like we have never done that. So what we will do sometimes is like, hey, you can have like a special night where you sleep can over, sleep yeah. like yeah. in the bed. Yeah. Um, 
That's what that's what and I did last night. It keeps sounding creepier. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> so we probably should stop saying it. <laughs> but anyway, special night. Yeah. Look, oh. now it's <laughs> dirt bags. Dirt bags, dude. All I'm saying is I don't let my kids come into the bed. Yes. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah, I yeah. don't do that. I'm scared. I've had a nightmare. Bullshit that right. they just say to get into the bed. You actually every put on a mask day. every time they said I just had a nightmare. And you I throw go, on oh, a mask. Did you? You scared now? No. What I do is bitch. I go, oh, did you? And then I like grab the mask and I like walk them back to the room and then I a little bit I go behind them and put the mask on and mm-hmm. then when they turn around, boom, there it is. Boom, there it is. <laughs> Now what was I saying? No, so I we had a special said, we had a special night last night. What time did you go to bed? Um, not until like ten thirty. Yeah, that's not terrible. It's not terrible, but I was wanting to go to bed at eight thirty or nine. Well, you know, you know the funny thing. He out. fell asleep at like nine thirty. He did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. and I felt bad because I, you know, I can't call or I can't do anything, you know, whatever. So I was just was like, eh. Hey. All right, great. I just kind of propped up the computer and went, went and worked next to him. Yeah, exactly. That's what I do. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, he, yeah. he was out. Um, yeah. But uh, yeah, I, I think his parties, like you could, if you went to sleep at 1030, you, you can party could, a little bit. I could party a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Take a couple chooches and any, uh, get in the game. Yeah. Do we get have any syrup? No, we don't. Uh, Dan's got it. We need to text Dan's got him. the sh- sh- syrup. Um, you need to text him. I know. I, I think he's good. I think he said two bottles left, um, which is rad. Look, he reordered. Hey, man. Wow. Technology. Right? That's okay, kidding. In times like these? Not technology. It's just right through the mail, old school. You yeah. Know? It's the only way to get shit these days. Yeah. Old school. Everything old school. Um, by the way, speaking of Instagram, I hopped on last night because I'm, I'm tired of hearing people's bullshit about the coronavirus. Yeah, um, you're definitely done with it. I am I am all done with it. And we'll get to that in a, in a second. Like I'm yesterday last night was my final I am done with this. Yeah. And I would I'll, like you to I'll stop go through the stages of it. Telling people that you had it. I'm I'm I I'm pretty goddamn sure I did. Let's just stop that. It's fine. And w- because whatever. only because like how did I not get it? Well, here's the thing. Some people it's just undetectable and it's So I had it too, but probably, it just didn't. Dead serious. You probably did. It was like three of my friends at the same time had the same thing, and I had, the, I had a conversation with them, and I was like, hey, man, I'm not going to say who they were, but, you know, I was like, hey, man, are you, and he's like, oh, yeah, and then he finally opened up, I was like, yeah, same days? He was like, yeah, same days, it was a fucking second, I was like, oh, what the fuck, and he goes, man, it's like a flu, like, it's two or three days, and you're up and at them, and that's mm-hmm. it. The other thing is, dur- during it, um, you know, they're saying the cure was like Z-Pack and like quinine and all that mm-hmm. shit, I fucking had a Z-Pack with right. me. I just taken one with me and I had a shot of B12 right like the day before like the day before I left so yeah I was fine after two or three days and I was back up in Adam everybody else is oh my god it's the end of the world I'm gonna fucking die I watched and I don't know if you saw this but this video I guess they're they're saying it went viral but I looked at her subscribers and I'm like I, I don't know if that's viral that's just her everyday life Cardi B Mm-hmm. Everybody was talking about her in a, in a fucking mask doing an eight minute video on her Instagram. And mm-hmm. she did it on IGTV. Mm-hmm. She's wearing a mask in the, like three inch acrylics. And she's sure. like, y'all, like, uh, people like, like dying and like getting sick and stuff. And like, you need to fucking like do this. And like, you know, there's not a lot of like testing for people and shit. And oh, I'm just okay. like, and I'll 20, have to check that out. hang on, 20 million views. 20 million, Jesse. That is an that is ratings for an NFL playoff game. That's crazy. And she's getting she got 20 million views off of Instagram. That is freaking people the fuck out. Um even Rappaport posting these weird fucking videos. Like it's like, man, I've look, the the unemployment rate came out today mm-hmm. of how many people lost their jobs in the last week. Yeah. 3.3 million Americans filed for unemployment in the last week. We're getting messages over and over from paramedics and firefighters and all this shit saying, hey, man, can you please go on air and, and, and say what we're all thinking here and what's going on here? What are they thinking? They're thinking we should all get the fuck back to work um, and stop wasting time, wasting kits for people who actually need it. Oh, okay. Um, 50% of our audience is, is first responders. Yeah. I'm going to just go ahead and read one of the messages um, because, look – you, you have half, the line has been drawn. You have half the people who are saying, hey, man, 
I fucking believe this and don't get off my lawn and all this other shit. Mm. And then you have the other half who are just like, hey, man, we need to go back to work. This is kind of like the flu. And like, that's why I have no problem co- coming out and saying, hey, man, I probably got it. Lakin, Christine Lakin, I can say her at least. She went on her fucking Instagram and was just like, yo, man, I have this. I have it. Here's what it is. But she's with her husband and, and her kids. Like, mm-hmm. And this, this is not that bad. It was about three days. Mm-hmm. Um, Colton from The Fucking Bachelor was the same way. It was like, right. hey, man, I took a Z-Pack and I feel great today. That's what he said on Billy Bush's show last night. Yeah. Hey, I feel like a new man today. I feel refreshed. That's exactly what I felt. It was just like, all right, cool. But here's the messages we're getting for from um, – First responder, and I said I would read them on the show. Um, they were like, can you please read this on the show? Um, this is one from Nashville. I'm not going to say who it is. He said, look, I've seen a lot of it. 99% of the, of the percent of the people, 99% of the people just have flu symptoms with a bad respiratory component. Most of it is better within five days. The media is blowing this way out of fucking proportion. I would love for you to chat about this on the show. I've had one guy that was MR, which I... I He's, it says here in parentheses, it seems for mentally retarded. I didn't know that in the paramedic mm-hmm. world. Um, nonverbal and in a wheelchair. Uh, he always has pneumonia and is sick all the time. He is not doing well and will probably die, right. um, which, is, which is unbelievably sad. Um, yeah. Vanderbilt uh, has nurses that are working that have had it for five days. So they've actually had the coronavirus for five days. Um, then they go home and then they've, they've all have come back to work. Um, because it's been mostly just a fever and that's it. And everybody is saying, get back to work. Another first responder wrote in and said, hey, man, we have to get this economy back up and running. Um, so what's the answer, though? Is it people at risk? Stay home? That's what I think it should be. If like, you were in that age range, if you have respiratory age problems. Age range or you have respiratory If you're problems. in your 60s, yes, stay home and look. I hope this doesn't come off as sounding harsh to say, but if you're in your 60s, chances are you don't have that huge of a job in the economy or that it is affecting your family. Hopefully not, because most people are are retiring around 65. I know that's when you can start taking Social Security and all that other stuff. Um, But the flip side of it is if this continues to go on, the economy is going to crash, affecting 338 million people versus... I'm looking at the death toll now. It says right around 700. Yeah. So I guess like. In America. And it's like, dude, 37,000 people die a year from the flu. Yeah. The common American yeah. flu. Yeah. We're not anywhere near those numbers yet. Um, yeah. Will we be? I don't know. Um, but from everybody I've talked to that has said that they had it or it's all. The same thing where it's just like, yeah, man, it's about three days worth of this. Kathy Griffin got on last night, um, took a, took pictures inside a hospital in L.A. saying, I, I woke up in unbearable pain and I can't, I can't get anybody to give me a test and all this other shit. And it's like, this is just stoking fear amongst people. Yeah. And I think, I, I, look, I don't know her fucking age, but I'm guessing Kathy Griffin is probably in her 60s. Close. At, at least close, right? Yeah, I mean, just type in Kathy Griffin age. 59. So she's right on the cusp of, yes, where where that would be. Are you going to have some more aches and pains at that age? Probably. Um, Does she even have it? That's another thing. Who fucking knows, dude? Right. And all of this is so new, and you've got these tests, and again... If you're out there and you're, you think that you have it and you're a young, unless you're fucking dying, because this is what a, a friend of ours went, there's a drive through test site here. Mm-hmm. And they told him to get the fuck out of there. Yeah. They were like, hey, man, no offense, but like a, a small cough and all that other shit, like we need these tests for people who actually might be dying. Like, not you. Yeah. Go home, treat this like a fever, and get the fuck out of here. And he wrote into the show and was like, can you please share my story? Because he goes, I was freaked out. Because he goes, because the I keep reading things in the media every day. And he goes, I'm fucking paranoid as shit now, thinking I'm going to die and all this other stuff. And he goes, I drove through, and they were like, hey, man, the doctors were like, you're fine. Yeah. Go home. So, But the point is, like, I'm not worried about me getting it. It would really suck if my kids got it just because when kids... Kids can't get it? Right. So I'm not worried. The The point is, like, we're not worried about us getting it, right? Right. The point is that we're trying to save people that are at, 
Like we're trying to at do risk. this for these people. Right. So the first, when this first happened, I was like, is there a way to reverse this quarantine where like we could stay at work and the people that are at actually risk at risk? Yes. Can quarantine. I know that's a shitty thing to say, but it for every single person and everything to shut down for this, you know, community of at risk people. Yeah. It kind of seems like it would make sense to do it the other way around uh, personally. But, you know, after a couple days, like a couple more days, Mm -hmm. I think that's I mean, uh, or a week or whatever. I'm pretty sure that's where we'll get. I hope so, because, look, if you are at home and you're watching this or listening to this and you're like, man, I don't agree with this. You're going to lose all of your favorite don't. places. Yeah. Look, you're going to lose all your, your your favorite places, your businesses. Your small businesses yeah. are going to shut down because of this bullshit. You sh- they should be working and or you should be out supporting them, whatever they are, because they are going to close. The Cheesecake Factory last night, the fucking Cheesecake Factory of all goddamn places, just said, hey, man, we're not paying rents on any of our fucking buildings on April 1st. Sorry. And they released a, a, a fucking statement on it saying, hey, man, sorry, we're not playing. The Cheesecake Factory. Now, imagine your favorite restaurant that is in your neighborhood right now. Yeah. You think they can afford to stay open if this lasts much longer with this bullshit? Which no. I today was like, I think I'm going to order from Whiskey only because yes. I was like, I haven't been. And it's the only like small business really close to me that I feel like I can get delivery or pickup from or whatever yeah whiskey creek like, yeah. there's smaller bakeries like the place here but they're not open yeah so it's like i, I don't know i tell you what i'll order it i'll roll in and hopefully chris the owner is there i'm talking about yeah. whiskey creek by the way if you're in wilmington north carolina it's my favorite but uh uh if he is there i'll do a video and post it like i have seen people posting their favorite restaurants yeah that are local mom and pop restaurants yeah. that are they're the ones that are going to get crushed by this in particular. Yeah, They're going to go out of business the fastest. That you go to all the time yes. or that you want to stay open and there's a way to help them. Like, And by help, I mean buy from them. Not like donate money or anything like this, but like buy for them. Buy from their them, food. Get yeah. whatever. Um, that, I think that would be more helpful than a fucking another goddamn quarantine video. Like, you know. Yeah. Changing the lyrics on something like or writing a fucking song about the quarantine. Or like, like a bathtub video. I know you would like another Madonna bathtub video. If she again. spread eggs, dude. I know what is you the, what would is the love problem? it, but I'm good on any celebrity trying to inspire me other than giving money to their community around their mansion. Spread eggs for COVID, dude. You know? I'm just saying. Spread eggs. For COVIDs, Jabes. Anyways, it just feels like. You and and know, I, dude, I'm sure, I'm sure the shitstorm will fucking start from what I just said, but. I, no, I know. But I think people whatever, are going man. back and forth to where they're like, yes, I'm staying home because I know it's the right thing to do. I don't want to down the line have something happen and be like, fucking A, if I had just. Mm-hmm. Like someone close to us or something getting it. Yeah. Right. And being like, God damn it. Yeah. Right. And I know if we'd have just stayed in place, if we'd have just figured this out, like went through it, this wouldn't have happened. So, you know, we go back and forth like hour by hour. I change how I feel about this. And I'm sure everyone at home does, too, where you're like, fuck this shit, dude. Like, I'm going. And then you're like, no, 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 no. OK, OK, OK. Like, let's just calm down. I can stay home for a day. You know what I mean? I'm not, man. I'm I'm cutting off people who if if you believe that this is fucking killing the world and all this other shit then stay in your fucking house and hide i like don't even text me because you might get it through the interwebs or whatever the your 5g is like you're being very harsh i'm i'm, I'm, I'm over it and like all these weird it's fucking surprising things coming like from you because you're such a sweetheart i know right <laughs> it's surprising that if you're I being see so one harsh one more dire news report when i actually saw the, the death toll yesterday i was like oh well, shit, we're still another 37,000 away from the flu. But like, that's just, yeah, that's just here. But then you look at like. In the United States. Yeah. yeah. But I looked at Italy. So that, that's a great point. I'm glad you brought that up. I looked at the numbers from Italy because it was 7,500, right? Mm-hmm. 7,500 people have died. It was all like super old. I mean, they have a, a very old country there. Mm-hmm. Um, it is all very old people there. We do not really have that type of population here. Same with Spain. They have a I lot of old people there. Why do they stuff. live so long? 
Hmm? Why do they live so long over there? Slower lives? Yeah. Maybe. Uh, it's a stress thing, right? Yeah. They've probably. Done, I'll die they've in done like studies two in, years. in certain places of what they eat, how they eat, and their stress level, right? Mm. So it's like, they're not really. Their way of life is like, hey, but but I'm in a gun. <laughs> As long as beam, they have beam, a, beam, a bread beam, stick beam, and beam, like beam, a chicken beam, beam, running around, beam, they're good, beam, right? Beam. Yeah. That's all they aspire to. I get some, I, I, and I have some Italian friends, by the way, who've, <laughs> who've turned turned on the Chinese, where they're just oh, like, really? man, yeah, dude, they're really angry about it. Um, which I'm, I'm surprised there isn't that anger here yet. I guess, but you know, they're under a whole different situation than we are. And again, but they have a different population. They have a different type of population. So, yeah, for sure. You know, for sure. But like Spain. Spain, yes. España. Same, I same think thing. That's like ten thousand, isn't it? Um, deaths from the coronavirus. Can you look that up? Spain I will look it up. Huge. That is. Spain and Italy were huge. Y- yeah, um, s- seven thousand. Seven thousand. So Italy well, is. Not, Italy not is far off, you guys. It, for a small country like that. Oh, so Italy I'll, I'll, I'll read the. Let me read the actual stats here. So these aren't distorted at all. Um, United States, six hundred sixteen deaths. Mm-hmm. Um, China, seventy four thousand. Oh, they um, said a thousand in the U.S., but go ahead. Yes, we're these are actual. They've Google's now got an up to the minute mm-hmm. ticker, I okay. guess, uh, for this. Uh, Italy is it? Um, oh, I'm sorry. This is. Uh, oh, these are fucking confirmed people that are. Whoa, this is way lower. Way to go, Google. I'm gonna slide this on back here. These are deaths. I was this. This number is way the fuck off. You ready for this? Mm-hmm. United States, one thousand fifty-four. Yes. Okay. Uh, China, three thousand two hundred eighty-seven. Now seven. That number seventy-four thousand was the one that, that actually recovered from this. Mm-hmm. Um, Italy, seven thousand five hundred. Spain, four thousand one hundred so far. All of these combined are still not the the number of deaths of the flu in America during a flu season. And this is worldwide we're talking about now. Right. So deaths worldwide total are at 22,000. Worldwide, including China, including Italy, the United States, and Spain. 22,000 worldwide. Mm. That doesn't even compare to our flu season. Will more die and this number probably double? Yes, mm. yes it will. But then you're actually getting to the number of what our, our flu season is. And it's like, is it worth the economy at this point? Because right now, I, the stimulus package just passed this morning. Um, good on the Republicans and Democrats for getting together. And it was, uh, I think it was 96 to 0. So it was unanimously passed. And there was no holdouts whatsoever, which is a shock, by the way. Mm-hmm. Um, that's a shock. But uh, you got checks going out to people soon. Yeah. Somewhere in the $1,200 range, right? Yeah. Yeah. $1,200 plus $500 a kid. A kid. Okay. So, you know. You're looking at a good. You're looking at an okay amount. Um, okay amount. I mean, for sure. Yeah. And, no, and, it's not. And like here's what I say. Like, great. It's just going to be a little a little bit of cabbage. Y- yeah. Uh, and, and here's the thing. Good on Trump for doing this and the, and the Treasury um, for doing this. But if you're living in, in L.A. Make a dent. No. If you're living in LA, if you're or living in New York, that, if you're living in San Francisco, yeah, or if it your takes rent, a long time to get it, because then by then you're so in debt with stuff where it's like, that's yeah. going to be a fraction of what you have to pay. And they're saying you would probably get it in, in the Mayish range. We're not in April yet. No. So people need it like now. Now, what are you going to do about, so rent's due in five days for a lot of people. Rent is due. Mm-hmm. What are you going to do then is the question. If you're not going yeah. back to work, unless the government agrees to, to turn off rents uh, and mortgages for yeah. everyone in the country, it's due, and you don't have those checks but yet. by the way, turning off rent is something that's like the landlord that has your place mm-hmm. also needs your money. Correct. Because that's his income. In some, some cases. Correct. Yeah, it is. Like, so you can't just like turn off rent. That's what I'm saying. So what's the alternative? Go back to work. That's what I'm saying. Everybody should go back to work. If you're not in the the danger zone and the risk of it, at this point, it would 
help America mm-hmm. to go back to work. And um, I, I just don't see any other way around this. Again, if, if checks aren't coming till May, mm-hmm. what are you going to pay with in five days? What are these 3.3 million people who just filed for unemployment, what are they going to pay with? Unemployment takes two weeks to kick to kick in. What are you going to pay with? So what at what what's the risk versus reward in this situation is what you need to ask yourself and uh you know me personally i i, I say go back to work um my all, all our paramedic friends firefighters saying hey man go back to work so we'll see we'll see what happens but uh to be honest with you mm-hmm. i'm just so tired of talking about it same and i'm tired of having conversations about it and i'm tired of talking about it with people who are just deathly afraid who are younger and i'm like my god man yeah go out into the world they still haven't shut down by the way domestic air travel yet no i got an email that was like hey we are it was like it laid out their social distancing right yes and i thought okay great am i gonna have a whole road to myself i'm booking tomorrow do you know what i mean thank you oh here's the deal we well we have tickets for what that those LA tickets are still there. I thought they canceled them. They said you 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 can you can cancel them and get a full refund. I didn't yet because I didn't know if I would have to go to. Uh, oh, and just switch it to. Something I was going to switch else? it to another state because oh. I'm fine with flying. Me personally, right? Um, I'm not going to take. I'm not going to take my kids. No, you wouldn't take. Like your kids. that's the one thing. But would you fly I personally? I'm doing. Yeah. Yeah. Same. If this one meeting we're supposed to, there's there's a few meetings that we're supposed to have that are coming up, and it's like they asked me on the phone two days ago. They're like, "Hey man, uh, are you gonna drive here?" And I was like, "No, no, I'm I'll, I'll fly very, there and I'll see you there." I I have to say though, I am very lucky that I can still work, that I have childcare that can still work, that we have parents that can help. So like, yes, I am tired of talking about it. Yes, this fucking sucks. Yes, I'm tired. You know all of this shit. Yeah. But like, I am very lucky in this entire situation same. that i can still go to work so same but but the, the people that aren't as lucky as us are, are my friends and that's what i'm saying all of them that's what I'm 10 saying. out of 12 of them so are like out I'm of like, work yeah when i'm like oh i'll fly it's like yeah because i have grandparents that will keep my kids inside but even the grand clean and like do you like, know what i mean so like, my, my parents are in their 60s and they're like they're just being cautious hey man we're not going outside or we're coming over to your house or well, we had talked here about, and there yeah we had talked about both of our parents not actually realizing how old they are um which is fine which right is fine, like yeah. they're they're a young they're young 60s right <laughs> and they're like but they also don't have respiratory problems right but they were talking both sets have talked to us about like you know being safe for the people that are at risk and you're like yeah but hey if they don't feel it good for you right i think if they don't feel like they're in their 60s who am i to tell them that they're in their 60s right you want my roster and Amish prediction on this i think by the summer i think we're we're gonna look back at this mm-hmm. and the people who are just super like in my in my eyes the people who have been super afraid and all this other shit i'm gonna look back in the summer and be like hey man Remember that thing and you wouldn't f- talk to us or do certain things or all this other shit? Like, that's the d- divide in my mind where it's just like. Yeah. That's what I think. I think in two or three months. I think your Sylvia Brown prediction. I think it's definitely, yeah. It's going to be gone as fast as it came. Like, I, I think that's going to. Gone as fast as it came and then we'll resurge again in 10 years or whatever. And we'll be more equipped to like, mm, we've been through this. Yep. We know how this fucking goes. We know that the media is going to blow it out of proportion and get ratings fucking every single day. Every single network is they talking about it. They need to keep this story going and keep you afraid in order to make money. Otherwise, they have nothing. Nothing is going on right now. But yeah. Um, and the Democratic uh, Party thing, that's over. Like, it's decided. It's Biden. Right. He's won. So, so what, what is the other news story that you keep that pushing? Anymore. Um, Today should be about opening day. Today's opening day for baseball. It is trending number one in the world on Twitter right now. And I wish we, I, was, I was at the fucking baseball game. I wish I was watching a goddamn baseball game. Well, you will. Again. When the media tells me I can. When the media tells me I can and then they'll put the fucking baseball back and be like, eh, right. we saved you. Calm down. So, um, so Bernie is out, huh? 
sort of I, mathematically he can't get it. I was thinking it. maybe Britney Spears could run as his ah uh, so VP because glad she you is brought her on up the Democratic Socialist terrain. I'm glad you brought her up. I follow her on Instagram, and this is full Who disclosure doesn't? for everybody at home. Wait, I follow her for a different reason. I want to be there from the, the the morning I wake up, and it says. Pop star Britney Spears dead. Yes. And I watched, I was watching her Instagram video the yes. night before. Hey guys. Guys, it's I'm me. fine. I'm dancing. I'm, I'm fine. I'm not on meds and everything hey guys, is great. We're doing yoga today. <laughs> Done. Yes. <laughs> That's not yoga. <laughs> she posted a video of her breaking her foot, allegedly. Oh, precious. And she goes, You can hear it in the video. It's crazy. Yeah. It's toxic. So she is she, whatever that voice is now that's going on inside her head is now instead of an inner voice, that voice is now outer, outer. into the world. And it is frightening. And every night I, I watch whatever weird video she puts up, so from whatever vacation spot then? she's in. And and I, I wait for her to die the next day. So have you seen this then? No. The newest one um, that she is calling for socialist style redistribution of wealth. So this whole co- coronavirus thing. Mm-hmm. Has got her thinking that maybe great we should be socialist, and uh-huh. she's like quoting uh, <laughs> Mimi Zoo on her Instagram, which is like Ooh. this, yeah, communist sure. socialist, yeah, whatever, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and then she put three roses emoji, which I guess I did not know this mm-hmm. is the sign of the democratic socialists. Is it really? Yeah. I well, love an underground. I, I thought that was a sign thing. for uh, prostitution on Craigslist. Is it? Huh. Used um, to be. Used to be. Used to be, and now aptly it is. <laughs> yep, for democratic for socialism. For democratic yeah. socialism, yeah. Three and, three roses meant three hundred dollars on uh, Craigslist if you were getting a prosty. Did it? Yep. That's so fucking funny, man. I only went on Craigslist for misconnections. I never went to the. Did you felt that you had one, or you you posted one? Well. um... No, I would never post them. Okay. I was just seeing if someone maybe had a misconnection with me. <laughs> Did you ever go to misconnections? No. So fun. <laughs> because you like, have you ever, <laughs> when you're single, listen, when you're single, I know I have gone on, I've gone on with my friend before, because when, <laughs> when you're single, you know, sometimes you're at Trader Joe's, there's something sexual going on at Trader Joe's always. What? Mm. Why? The vibe in there, the vibe. At Trader Joe's? There's a meme. There's actually a really funny meme that's like, I don't know if the guy that works at Trader Joe's wants to fuck me or if they're all fucking each other, but there is something sexual going on at Trader Joe's. And if you they're know all what hippies, t- dude, in a fucking sex cult. It's just a very sexual vibe. Yeah, there, it is. It right? Is. Like, they're very flirty with you and just kind of cool. There's no manager. It's almost like they work there for free. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> and so I love I love it. So when you were single, (laughs) it's kind of true. It's true, right? You're like, gosh, you were having the time of your life at work. At Trader Joe's. Yeah, you're right. The time of your life. Bagging groceries in a sack. Bagging groceries. And then when you ask me about my day, it doesn't feel canned or anything. Yeah. Like at Harris Teeter, I know they like have to do it. So they're like, I'll be on my phone. They're like, how's your day going? I'm like, I clearly don't want to fucking talk. Like we didn't have a thing. But (laughs) when you were single, did you ever, you know have like a quick encounter with someone whether it was like at the store or something where you're like damn that chick was cute and like we kind of were flirting a little bit but it didn't get far enough that you like got oh, yeah. numbers or anything like that but yeah. you i'm sure because you have this with hostesses all the time still boy at a restaurant you will definitely like my personality is electric and and people right. are just drawn in you right. know um no but uh so if that would ever happen back in the day, I would just like pop on to a misconnections and just see if maybe someone had a misconnection with me. That's really fucking funny. Did they? They never did. Okay. No. <laughs> answer, answer to that is they never did. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Oh, that's fucking funny, man. <laughs> um, that's real. I know. I, I, so here's, I know. guess my, my, my assumption was that any girl I thought was hot, if, if they had go- took the time and went on and put a misconnection up, sure, I wouldn't have dated them anyways. So, why? 
that's a lot of time on Craigslist. Like, I only go there if I need, like, a you know, I'm looking at, like, an old Bronco or a boat or something. Okay. Things that I can't have in this life mm-hmm. is the only thing that I really go to Craigslist for, where it's just like, man, you know what would be rad? Yeah. Is a restored scout. Like, man, I bet you somebody's got one on there. Go to Craigslist. Boom. $65,000. Myrtle Beach. We got that scout you've been dreaming about. Rebuilt engine. Right. Put a Tesla battery in there, and you're like, whoa, fuck you, dude. But so I never like, buy it. Uh, um, or boats or, you know, things that yeah, are unachievable. Yeah. That's the only thing that I went to Craigslist for. And then prostitutes, obviously. But Obviously. So this Three is- roses. This is two. You need someone to polish your place. I cannot host. Sorry. Okay. Somebody to polish your place? Listen. Whoa. Okay. Um, missed our connection? Let's see. Computer crash. Lost your email. We were talking a lot. Couple from Carolina Beach. One married, one not. My computer broke and lost all contact info. Email me. Okay. So they were about to hook the fuck up. That sounds like a, sing- a swinger sitch, though. Yes. Yeah, and dude. The computer lost connection. Um, Oof. There's, there is no worse way to lose connection than right before you're about to get into a, a soft swing with some people. Looking for... You know? So I tried chatting with this beautiful lady on a site. Uh, she no longer exists. As of recently, as I said to her, I bought... No. So it used to be a lot more wholesome than this. <laughs> Yeah, now it's uh, now it's a bunch of swangers, swangers, swanging them dicks um, around. A lot of yeah, real creepy, real creepy. Exxon hey, uh, I smelled you I the other day. I came into your work, Exxon in Hampstead. Came into your work a little after three. Commented on you being so small and your nails. Oh. Reply with the cu- reply with what color your nails are and what I said. Okay. So they had a little fun exchange at yeah. the Exxon and Hampstead. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. He could have. Ve- I mean, he knows where she works. But anyway. Well, um, no, maybe they were both pumping gas. Ooh. Had finished up, and they were both checking out. Home Depot Garden Center. This could be me. There okay. we go. There we go. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm there all the time. Uh, we were both shopping in the garden department. Uh-huh. Thank you. Yes. I was looking at cactus. It's not me. Um, garden department at Home Depot Sunday morning, and we made serious eye contact a few times. Ah. This is exactly what I'm talking yeah, about, yeah, yeah, yeah. where I would be like, man, I was feeling that, you know? Mm-hmm. Let me just see. I wound up loading my cart with perennials, not Perineums. I was going to say, perennials. Perineums would have been when, a whole different ballgame. And when ball I game. looked, you had gone. My big mistake for not speaking with you. I'm early 50s. Oh, precious. And you seem close in age, but could pass for much younger. Sweet. Oh, there we go. You are beautiful. If this may have been you, contact me, please. Mm. You had a killer smile, and I would love to put my... Oh, my God. Put my dick in you? Joking. Oh, I was like, yo... (laughs) If no, Homeboy no, said no, he no. wanted a fucking no, deep no, dicker no, no, on uh, no, no. Craigslist, so I'd have been sweet. like, what? No, this is what I'm talking about with Miss Connections. Like, I love this. And I would love to officially meet and speak with you, maybe over lunch or dinner. Home Depot Monkey Junction. This is That's our, Home our Depot. Monkey Junction yeah. in Wilmington. If you were this gal. Monkey Junction. Oh, my God. Yeah. Hook it up. Oh yeah, so, do you know what so, I mean? Uh, Alex it's said, "Hey, like there's this. a there's a there's a guy on there that like said, that. Hey, man, I miss miss having your rug cleaned, and that's code for beaver.' Exactly. Bush. See, that's not wholesome. I'll clean at your all. fucking rug, you know, with my tongue. Call me, and we'll get together and figure it out. Figure it out. Miss connection. Um." Speaking of advertising, we got some advertisers on this show. We got ghostbed.com, oh, James, God. forward slash drinking bros. Yeah, dude. We just started yammering today. Oh, my gosh. I could do a whole show. Really? Today. We should do it. We should do it. Um, ghostbed.com so forward slash drinking bros. 25% off everything in the entire store. All of its mattresses, sheets, pillows. The adjustable bases are 50% off. And uh, every mattress you order, you get two free pillows. This gets shipped to you in a box. It is coronavirus-free. It is all fucking sealed up. If 
you're super worried about it. They do make guarantees about that. Yeah, if you won't talk to us, maybe you'll get a ghost bed. Yeah, get a ghost bed. And look, if if you're out of work um, and you're worried of like, hey, man, I'm going to pay for this, they're they're allowing that 36-month pay-as-you-go program, no interest-free, to, to go with these deals. So, so like I would 20 do bucks. that until like we get back, you know, you get back Things on get your back feet, on track. pay the rest of it. But at least until then, you could be comfy cozy for... Hopefully it is Easter. Jesus Christ, man. This is stupid. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. This is dumb. Um, uh, Next up, Jabes. Ooh, do we have have keeps today? We do have keeps today. Oh, my God. Playing for keeps. All right. So here's the deal. I talked about this yesterday. I'm going to talk about it again today. Keeps. K-E-E-P-S dot com. Keeps dot com. Keeps your hair going. If you're an older male. Uh, not older, late twenties, you know, like myself. It can be anywhere. It's early thirties, you guys. That yeah. you should start with any kind of regiment like this. Just saying. Yes, um, this will keep the hair that you have yeah. and prevents uh, any more from falling out. Ninety percent test rate on this. So this is coming from them. I had this is full disclosure because we talked about this on the show a couple months ago. I had fucking two friends that were doing it, and they were—they swear by it. And I was like, "All right, cool. Oh yeah, I'll try it out." I talked about it on the show, and then they called and they were like, "Hey, man, would you be willing to take a flyer and and uh, and do it?" Um, and then you know we'll come on as a sponsor. I said, "Yeah, man, I'll 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 do it." And the deal is this: um, it's keeps dot com sl- slash revolution, right? Forward slash revolution. Yeah, keeps dot com forward slash revolution. I'm gonna say that one more time: keeps dot com. Slash revolution. K E E P S dot com slash revolution. Cool. Why am I saying it that many times? Here's why it's free. So you get a 30 day trial for free on there with this. I'm not even asking you to buy shit. Because that was the thing, like for me with them, where I was just like, hey man, I'll try this for the end of the year and I'll give a fucking honest opinion about it. Sure. I want to see if this shit works. Sure. And they were like, look, we'll give it to your audience for free. And then, you know, for 30 days and we can see if it works. And then that's out. They ship it like once a month or something. So try it. It's free. If you don't yeah. dig it and it's, you know, your hair's falling out and shit, then, uh, you know, don't do it. It probably won't be. It's not going to be. Do you know what I mean? Um, so I'm on this is week one for me. So far, so good. Like I'm, I'm amped on keeps um, and we might keeps them as a sponsor. Eesh. Go to keeps.com slash revolution today, Jabes. Get on um, and do a quiz with the doctor. Yeah. Uh, they'll tell you what uh, formula and what kind of program you need to get on. There's, Correct. there's different. If you're clean, bald, though, motherfucker, your, your hair's not growing back, dude. I'm sorry. Sorry about it. There is no But I think you can lotion keep in the your world. fall hair, though. So get on there. Yeah. Keep your ball. You want to keep the hair that you have where you have it. Yes, it may not be on your head. First month treatment for free. Um, boom, do it. And it's better than going to like a, I don't know, one of those fucking hair doctors that charge you out the ass. I, look, LeBron James is the perfect example of shit not working. He's richer than Jesus, and he can't keep his hair. And so. young, dude. Yeah, like, dude. He should have tried keeps instead keeps, of yeah, had getting he started all that with weird surgery and shit. Once he saw that it was like thinning a little bit, it would have been a whole different story. But anyways. Oh, whatever. Keeps.com slash revolution. It. Try it. Uh, next up, strikeforceenergy.com. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Shablanker. Four amazing flavors. <laughs> One amazing mouth. No carbs. No sugars. Last longer than five hour energy. You pop it open, rip it. Here it is. Boom. Here it is, kids. Tasty tiny little tin pouch. Squeeze it into any liquid available. You're good to go, motherfucker. Uh, and chances are you've been drinking white claws every single day. Um, starting at eleven. Starting at eleven AM because <laughs> mm-hmm. you have no life. We, we all have no don't. Life. No one has a life. No one has a life. We're all losers. <laughs> Strikeforceenergy.com delivers to your house corona free. Uh, Another forty pack, guarantee. ten pack, seven fifty milliliter bottle. Use the promo code Revolution at StrikeForceEnergy.com today uh, for twenty percent off, and they'll ship this shit right to your house. Last but not least, we got StraightRazors.com, James. Ooh, that's a clean cut, smooth. Oh, you right? There it is. Yes, 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 bitch. Yes, bitch. <laughs> that's a new one, James. Do you like that? It, I'm just going to keep adding it until it. that whole ad is about a half an hour long. Should. 
You should. Um, <laughs> I like it. The people love it. You're the people's champ on that one, James. Look, um, Straightrazors.com's got everything you need shaving wise in this life. Uh, if they're sold out of the stores, they got it there. Ships right to your house. They've slashed prices too, like 30%. So, um, big fan of Straightrazors.com. Promo code REVOLUTION 20% off. Uh, shot claims is all they keep making now with this, these fucking stories. I'm gonna, what? you know what? I'm gonna refuse to read them. Actually, um, shot claims from like CNN and all these guys about how many pe- how many people are gonna die, how many people are gonna die in the United States and all this other shit. Like, I'm tired of reading the shot claims too. You should really be held accountable for fucking posting shit like this. You know, shock claim. Yes, yeah, shot claims. Oh, okay. Um, so that's the, like how many people will die and things like that. Oh, where it's just oh like, like um, hey, yeah, shot claims mm-hmm, is how many people. Mm-hmm. Will die. Um, shot mm-hmm. claim. Here's the. Here's who's really winning the election. Right. Things like that, man. Like. Got you. I'm not gonna do it. Um, I'm tired of it, and uh, I refuse to read shit like that. Um, fucking. By the way, the you know we talked about the Senate passing that bill earlier. Everybody coming together. Um, I did not know Nancy Pelosi was 80 years old today. <sighs> that I mean. It is her birthday. She's 80 years old. By the way. With this quarantine, Kornstein, yeah, um, you're gonna see if she really let it all go where it needed to go, hair, face, everything. Like, I think she's still there. She's she's she had to be there to do all this shit. Still where? In D.C. Well, how is she going to the salon? Like, whatever. Anyways, that because they don't care. I think they know behind the scenes. Hey man, everybody so else is freaking still out. Still doing everything. Yeah, dude. They're just telling us. You to don't stop. find it odd that Rand Paul walked into a fucking the Senate gym is where he reportedly got coronavirus and no one else got sick. Yeah, and way after he was telling, yes, ev- they were telling us not to go anywhere. It's it's fucking crazy. Like, I know to me. friends. And that how are, like are they all getting tested? Week two. Every celebrity's gotten tested. Every fucking yeah. senator's gotten tested. Yeah. But Cardi B, oh, I can't get. Fuck you, dude. Fuck you. Yeah, she's 80 years old, man. Biden's 78. It's it's so strange to me, man, that this is like the heads of the party. And they're the oldest, richest white people that they hate in all of these things. Look, man, if Pelosi's still alive at 80 on Capitol Hill, you're fine, dude. Right. You're fine to go out of the house. If she kicked off, or, or like we, we were talking about yesterday, the, the prince, Prince Chucky. Prince Chucky. If he kicked off, whatever, man. Then you could start saying shit. If the super rich don't fucking die. Isn't it so weird fine. to call a 70-year-old boy? Chucky. A 70-year-old guy. Prince. Prince Chucky. Prince Charles. You're like, dang, dude. You're fucking old as shit. What if Prince. the mom, what if the mom the did outlive as, him? What if the mom what? Did outlive him and he never got to be a king. Ugh. Well. It'd be kind of great. It would be great. He didn't really want to anyways. Oh, uh, really? Mm-hmm. I didn't know that. Mm-hmm. I didn't know that. He doesn't like it. People are watching this doc on Hulu. Have you watched that yet? I haven't because I don't have the right subscription. What? Wait, what, what, what? As I said yesterday, I only pay seven ninety nine. So what does that mean? You can't get certain movies? Yeah, because it's on some weird thing. Like it's on. Like premium? It's, it's, premium? Is there premium yeah, Hulu? Yeah, premium because they will put stuff on Yeesh. there from like Showtime, from all these other do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So you yeah. have to have the premium to get everything, or you have to have that channel on TV, right? Yeah. Whatever. I couldn't watch it, so now I'm thinking about bumping it up. But times like these, I guess I'm not going to. <laughs> you know who else's birthday it is today? Oh, wait. It's uh, Jonas Salk, and we gave him the revolutionary figure of the day a week and a half ago. He was the uh, inventor of the polio vaccine. Oh, yes. Yeah. I got a good hearty chuckle out of that one. That it was his birthday? Today. During this. Like by himself. Oh. During this pandemic. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Because um, they're, you know, they're, they're trying to race out these vaccines. That's another thing, too, is, you know, they were like, it's a year. It's still a year and a half away because we have to do test trials and all this other bullshit. Months, and we're like, even six it's months like, eh, ago, like. A lot of people have said, just take a Z-Pack and have some, some quinine and get your fucking ass back in the game. But What a weird thing what a weird combo though not really if it's like a flu that's that's what you take for a flu anyways whenever you get really sick well, what's take with a the Z-pack. quinine shit it's like typical shit they give like to military and everything else you know 
I thought it was like malaria. Or yeah, it's something. like a yeah, but they go and oh. fight overseas and like Somalia and all that other bullshit, and they're just like, yeah, mm, gotta take some God. quinine, get back in the game. Um, you know, so we'll see. We'll okay. see. The tide is turning. Hopefully, after this weekend, we're all done with this bullshit. I'm going to the beach. I said this yesterday. I'm going to reinforce that. I'm going to the beach this weekend. It's going to be 80 and sunny. Mm. And uh, I'm going to go. I'm going in the water. I went in the water last weekend. Oof. Yeah. It, the, I'm glad you brought that up, Alec. Alex, like, aren't they closed? No. No, they're not. I, can just, I just walked right on. No, Nobody but look, stopped they, me are, they are. Technically. To residents, they're not, right? I guess. I, I, nobody stopped me. Nobody even asked. They didn't ask if I was a resident. They didn't right. ask anything about it, you know? I'm, I'm uh, again, I'm all done with the, the coronavirus we know. now. And we know. Uh, I'm we going know. to the beach. Yep. I'm gonna, you're going to see me on Monday because we're, we're still going to go live every day. I realize you, you guys are getting fucked out of going back to work. And I look, I've had a lot of friends hit me up saying, man, I wish I was at work. I forgot how much I missed having a purpose in right. life to go to work and do shit right. until I'm stuck at home and I can't do anything. Yeah. Um, if you see me Monday live on YouTube, assuming YouTube's back up because they've they're been down today, so we're going to have to fucking... St- Stream this or premiere it or whatever the fuck uh, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So sorry we're not totally live, apologize. guys. Craig, apologize. Ruben, Reed, Richard. I apologize. The boys. Um, we, um, we apologize. We hopefully will be back up tomorrow. I, mean, I hope so. Um, but you'll see me on Monday with a fucking sunburn, some form of uh, weatherman sunburn like my uh, favorite meteorologist with the beak burned. I got home yesterday because people are listening to this daily now and I'm amped. we're just as amped about it as you are. Like We actually enjoy it every day, so fucking a we might just continue this after the spooky virus goes away um i got home last night and the first i got home at like 603 and boom there was the meteorologist in his baggy suit baggy ass suit so i took a photo of it and (laughs) put it up on uh ross patterson revolution instagram you can go see that fucking guy i was talking about and i got a front angle uh front angle perfect and i got a Profile as well, like a side angle, so you could see how much room was in this suit. Um, but uh, people underneath it were like, "Hey, man, where's the guy with the sunburn?" And I was like, "He's on in the morning. He's in the morning. He's in the morning." So I'll and try to. He's probably partying. Right pop, now. pop up a picture of his beak, but I might wait until Monday because he's probably going as hard as I am this you weekend on the beach. No, it's true. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh yes, one hundred. Come on, man. Of course. Come on. We're gonna see him looking over like. Yeah. I know it's closed, but. Zinc oxide all over his yeah. face. Um, you and him, party. You and him would I have want a party. I want some coke. You and Gannon would actually have a fun time, I feel Medwick like. Medwick Gannon. I don't know what his name is, but if. It's if, Gannon Medwick. Is it really? Yeah. It yeah. is? Fuck you. Is it Gannon Medwick or Medwick Gannon? That's two it's last names. Gannon Medwick. Oof. I, I, I've never. I don't know that I've ever heard a person with two last names. You know? That's like fucking Patterson Davidson. What? <laughs> is that your name? Yeah. Huh? Patterson Davidson. Shannon Hoon. No, that's two first names. Shannon and Hoon. Oh, this is my buddy Hoon. Hoon dog. Um. <laughs> the Poon Hoon. Thick woman at Hardee's. Oh, you back, you back at it? Dude, I've been on this misconnection the entire time. <laughs> but thick woman at Hardee's. Okay? Was it? Okay. Now- this is going to tell a lot about this person. Did they spell the word thick? T H I C C. No. Fuck them. But they did they don't say, get it. I seen you tonight. Oh. At Hardy's in Chadbourne. You were in a purple Ford car. Ooh. Very hot. I believe, it, I believe I have seen you around town a good bit. I would really like to talk to you and get to know you. I am a white guy, tall and fit. Why are you reading it like like that? Because I thought it was a black guy. <laughs> Until I read the last I part. I've seen you at Hardee's. I'm a white guy. Tall I and misread fit. that so one for sure. So if he says he's a white guy, then it's I imagine it's a black girl because you don't specify your race. Yeah, you wouldn't say no. I'm a white guy, tall and fit. Yeah. I'm a honky. <laughs> Call me. Here's my pager. I'm a honky. Um, see which blonde. This could have been me. So, oh, just joking. down <laughs> at the Sea Witch. Yeah. No, I'm not Let's at the Sea Witch. Gray shirt at the bar. Mm-hmm. Wow. Smiled over at our table. Maybe it wasn't me, but maybe it was in town for the weekend. Just seeing what's going on. And well, dot, dot, dot. Boo. One of You done it, right. 
I could be on Misconnections all day. I think it would be if Casey Kasem was still alive, it would be awesome to hear him read these Misconnections. Oh my gosh, I know. Dear Caroline, D- yeah. <laughs> I saw you and see which you were wearing a green oh, shirt. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. That would be so awesome. That's pretty good. I seen you at Hardee's. I'm a white guy. I'm tall. And I'm also down to fuck. Are you? <laughs> this is my misconnection. Oh, oh that'd be so good, dude. Oh, Casey so Kasem good. reading misconnections would be the best. Charlotte DMB on Valentine's Day. I thought that was a oh, real connection. Yikes. Oof. Yeesh. That's a long time ago, too. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> to the pretty brunette in line at Shalot. 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 DMV. Oh, You Shalot. told me about your pet parrot as a child. Oh, <laughs> and I fell God. in love. And I fell in love with you. <laughs> Ooh, you two fucking losers be- yeah. deserve each other. Fucking throw on Tiger King together, yeah, dude. Yeah, exactly. You, you animal sorry, freaks. Sorry I didn't get the chance to wish you happy Valentine's Day. Wishing you all the best. And don't forget my movie. See, mm. I don't know. I don't you know, know what, what I mean? I don't know what that is. I had a friend with a parrot. I'm one of my good, really close friends with a fucking parrot. Ugh, you guys aren't still friends. Yeah, right? we are. You know him. I'll say his name. He doesn't listen to the show. Joey. It's Joey. Of course he did. He's, of he's had a fucking parrot for like 15 yeah, years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He doesn't anymore, right? Yeah, no, he's still got the fucking parrot. No, he doesn't. One would think they last for like 90 years, those goddamn things. They outlive humans, right? It's something crazy. Alec, look it up, dude. Parrot's, parrot's it is, lifespan. It is. It's, it's not 90, but it's something like 70 something. Yeah. So anyways. 70 years, something like that. Every time I would go over to his house in LA, I was just like, it, it would freak me the fuck out every time I walked in. 50, 50 years, years, yeah, for a parrot. All right. Yeah. Alex said 50 years for a parrot. That's right. Every time I would go over there. Wah, yeah. Wah, right as I walked in the door and it would freak me out every single time. I was like, oh shit, you still, you're still doing that, huh? And he'd had it for like 15 years at this point. Do you know this? And it was like newspapers all over the ground and shit. Like, oh, of course. So Rob Hubel was on a podcast the other day, and uh-huh. he was like, "This is going to be very specific, and not very many people are going to get this." Rob Hubel. Uh huh. I did a movie with Rob. Yeah, you know him. Yeah. But um, he was like, in Pasadena, mm-hmm. there's this like wild parrot thing. Like, I don't know what happened. If like a bunch of people just let their parrots go. Okay. But. At night, yeah. you will hear wild parrots in the trees in Pasadena. Yes. I don't know how this happened. I don't either, um, but that he is correct on that. He is correct. Uh, key, and it's this very specific bu- another, Yeah, Keo lives there. Keo yeah. lives in Pasadena. So like, I, he was the one who told me about that, and I was like, what? Huh? Uh, oh, dude, Andrew Keegan. Of um, course. He has a fucking... He's of course had he a parrot does. for years, of dude. Of course he does. He's yeah. had a parrot for years. Um, and he would get fucking girls with it, dude. So he was, he mm-hmm. was one of the smart ones. He, you know him, he's been in every teen movie there was. And, um, you just Google Andrew Keegan. He's great. Um, anyways, nicest guy on the planet. Caveman vampire or something. Yeah. Yeah. Cave, one. Yeah. That you love the caveman movie with, uh, Larry, I think Larry Clark did it. It's um, vampire caveman or caveman, but go ahead. Whatever. Um, 10 things I hate about you. Like all that shit. Um, anyways, I think he was in Seventh Heaven as well. Um, yeah, he had a part in that. For sure. So he he would uh, go, he had a he was the first one of us to move to Venice, and we were just like, man, you guys should move here. It's fucking awesome. And it was a hellhole back then. And I was like, no, dude, this sucks. And he's loaded now because he owns like half of Venice. But um, for sure, um, before anyone else did. But he, he'd always be like, hey man, come down to Venice and just hang. And we would always laugh. And be like, dude, that's like 45 minutes away. And you have yeah. to stay there. Because you go down to Venice and it's fun. Even the shitty Venice was fun because you get fucked up. But the problem is then you got to drive back with traffic. It's like an hour back to Hollywood. So one day. Teenage Caveman. Teenage Caveman. That's it. Yeah. It was good. I, I like the movie. Love that movie. I've yeah. seen it a million times. So one day Keegan was just like, hey, man, come do a fucking thing. And I was, I felt bad. Me and Clayne. Um, so we were like, you're like, let's just go, let's just go. Let's just see what this is all about and just do it. Right. And we went down and sure enough, Venice is awesome. We had a good time. For even, sure. even the shitty Venice back in the day. And, um, and so we go, he's like, Hey man, let's go to those bars on the beach right off of like at the end of Washington. And he was like, let me grab my parent <laughs> and go and just wait guys. <laughs> look, list, look, so and he learn. took his parrot 
And I'm like, yo, you can't bring a parrot in the party. He's like, dude, it's Venice. Nobody gives a shit. It's Venice. Sure enough, th- he was right. No one cares. Never had that many girls come up to the table in my entire life without saying a word, making eye contact. Definitely no misconnections there. No, they're coming they all right over the connected. table. And I was like, they all got connected. Yeah. And he was like, oh, man. And so girls were taking pictures of the parrot and the whole thing. And I was like, motherfucker. I used to make fun of it all the time. And I was like, motherfucker, dude, the parrot. The parrot, dude. And Joey ran right out and got a parrot. <laughs> no. Is that what no, happened? No? Oh, okay. <laughs> the next day, Joey had a parrot on he his shoulder. He didn't get one. Um, okay. Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm talking about Joey McFarlane, by the way. Um, oh, I thought you were talking about... McLean. No, no, no. Oh, no. okay, okay. No. Of so, my other buddy, Joey course, McFarlane, was just like, Of yeah. course, of All course, right, cool. of course, of course. Um, but, uh, no, he didn't, so... He didn't get that that parrot, but like we always were like, man, because we see you see pictures of him with the parrot, and if you Google him, you'll find a million pictures of this. Oh parrot. yeah, yes. And <laughs> on Instagram, he's on with the parrot all the time. I and if you're at home saying, man, what the fuck does he have a parrot or what? Is, like I'm telling you, he would get so much ass with his parrot. Now my other buddy who was talking about Joey McFarland earlier, he never took it out, so it just sat in that cage all day, and it right. was just like, all right, cool. We would always have the same like gag of like, dude, you know what we should do. When he's gone, we should play like Richard Pryor's album, like Live on Sunset, uh, yeah, Live have from the him Sunset Strip. It. It, it, yes, and just leave the house when he was gone and see if the parrot would do that all the time. And it was just like, you know, other friends kick in and they're like, "No, dude, we can't." Like that's been his parrot for fifteen years. Sure. Imagine if your fifteen-year-old parrot is now telling you to fuck off. Like, oh, there's so awesome. many weird things yeah, to that yeah, where you're yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I guess you're right. You know. It'd be like if your dog, after like 10 years, like your buddies just taught it to piss all over your house, and you're like, God damn it, man. Yeah, what the hell is going on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. For 10 years, like this dog was sure. fine. You fucked everything up for sure. me. Sure, So, yeah, you know. Fun thing between, just fun stuff between guy friends, you know. What do you think, Javes? Uh, you want to do a, a full misconnection show one day? I think we should. All right. But we have to have some on there and see if anybody responds, right? I don't know that anybody responds to these anymore. Everything is Facebook these know. days. Well. So you catch somebody's name. You ever done that? Catch somebody's name, then you Google their city, and it's like, I found people through there. Through you know, what? on Facebook. Uh-huh. I, isn't, I think that's why the Mish Connection thing died, just because everybody's going to Facebook. It's. I mean, it has died, but I mean, March 25th, there was one. You know what I mean? Like, people uh, are still doing it. It's just a very specific person. person, and that's what's interesting to me. Is like who's the person that goes to Craigslist misconnections <laughs> instead of right? Yeah, it's this cute little guy, the fifty, the guy who was like in his fifties yeah. getting stuff for his garden. Um, and then a quick update before we get off air today. Um, our buddy Mickey J. Polk, um, you might remember him from the squirrel that he was feeding squirrel, meth to. Squirrel, the meth squirrel meth guy. Squirrel is out of jail and he is back at it. He's got squirrels in his house and he is going live off of his Facebook page stop with it, the stop squirrels. It, stop yes. it, stop it. I just watched a video a couple of days ago with a squirrel and him in the in the bathroom in his in his bathroom it looks like his apartment and uh it's baby squirrel and um he's back. It's huge. This is huge. He's back. Yes. So we'll uh we'll have more uh as we continue wow. our journey that we call Ross Patterson Revolution. Revolution. For Jesse Wiseman, a.k.a. the Jables, I'm Ross Patterson. This is the Revolution. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon.